All right, Dr. Chip here at Natural Health, starting our uh, Monday health shop here. So this one is more on the immune system and why uh, and why how we can help with that um, and other things to do too. So let's get started. So again, Dr. Chip, and again, talking about immune system health. Now, a lot of times we tend to think that all these bugs are out to get us and uh, there's kind of bugs out in our environment, kind of like viruses, bacteria, um, different things like that. But we tend to forget that we, um, we have a lot of viruses on us, 300 or 380 trillion viruses out on our bodies all the time or in or out of our bodies all the time. So again, there's a lot of different things going on in us and that um, the immune system is crucial for keeping everything in balance. Now, put up here too, the human virome. Again, that's just our, um, kind of the, the actual viruses um, incorporating the whole body as a, uh, our whole body. And so we actually, our bodies are made up of more viruses, you would say, than human cells. So it's very important that we keep all these at bay and we'll kind of discuss how we do that. Now the human microbiome, again, that's in a very important part of the immune system and that has to do with all the bugs in our body, um, kind of more with the gut, um, but different things lining all the tissues of the body. And so you could say is that we want to make sure that we're keeping everything in balance so we're not getting off or at a, a state where we're more vulnerable to attack from these bacteria or viruses. And so a lot of times when we're kind of off balance, if we're not as healthy or our energy is down, then these viruses or bacteria get um, off balance or they would say uh, things get more, um, more of them get into the different areas and now becomes an actual issue of the body. So we'll, we'll keep going here. Now uh, the nervous system and the immune system, why those two are important and how they relate to each other. Now the nervous system is more like our master control center or system. Now it's really what's dictating what's happening in or around our bodies and it really controls our immune system. Now again, all these are working together properly. So you would say is that when we're attacked or immune system is down, um, then our nervous system is kind of kind of going chaotic there too. But now if we're if what we do with our brains or, or what we have with the, the nervous system is very well balanced, we're telling the immune system the right the, the the right messages, the right things to do in order for us to stay healthy. And so you could say is that the immune system is our defense system. Now, uh, when we have a good defense, we're very good at uh, keeping ourselves healthy. So just like with any sports, you could say football, for instance, they say a great defense is a good offense. So you can have a great defense and you can shut down the other team and that team won't be able to score against you. And eventually you'll be able to, you would say, get a certain turnover or um, intercept the ball to where now you would be able to score. So again, a great defense is always more important than a good offense. Now, again, that's why having a well-balanced nervous system is very crucial for your immune system health. So how does chiropractic uh, involve, or how is chiropractic involved with all this? Well, when the brain and the body are well balanced, then again, our control center, you would say the central nervous system, can transmit and uh, tell the immune system the appropriate actions to take. Then our uh, body becomes more balanced. The bugs in and around our body, the viruses and the bacteria are more balanced and they're not getting out of whack or out of control, you would say. It's not a chaotic situation where there's an overgrowth in one area rather than the, another area. And so that's what a lot of times happens is that when there's an overgrowth happening and the, the uh, check and balance system isn't working, you would say the nervous system isn't Ooh. telling you what to do, then we can have issues. 
So um, how chiropractic is helping this is helping the nervous system to uh, flow better, to have less interference. And so now it can communicate much better. So um, what can you do now? Now, um, breathing is very crucial to our health. You would say is that, um, you know, you could breathe, you can't, you know, you could uh, go you know, so many days without food, you can go so many days without water, but it's a matter of minutes that you cannot breathe very well. And so breathing is just a very good way to actually regulate that, that nervous system, more of the autonomic nervous system. And so, a good uh, system or a good breathing technique. It's very simple, very easy. It's just, it's four, four, seven, eight. So four seconds in, a seven second hold, and an eight second out. Just kind of breathing in for four seconds, holding for seven seconds, and then breathing out for eight seconds. And what that does is it helps kind of relax the systems, helps to make the brain more coherent, and so it gets a better communication system to the immune system to help protect you from different things. Uh, so that's just one example. Again, Eddie or Coach Ed and uh, Dr. Mark are going to talk more about other things that can help. So I will move it over to them so they can uh, help you see what's going on here. All right. Hey, Coach Ed here. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the emotions and the immune system. So I've always talked about the old subconscious mind, and I keep bringing it up because this is the habit-forming mind. And these, this is the habit-forming mind from our thoughts, our feelings, and our emotions. Not from just today, not from last week, not from a month ago, but all the way throughout your life when you were a child. And during that time, it was a very good time to get some positive emotions rolling there, but however, sometimes it works out that we have some negative emotions that we have in our subconscious mind. Now, if we have those emotions in our subconscious mind, we will tend to use those emotions again and again. It's kind of like the conditioning. So if I used you know, the anger or frustration or any kind of thoughts down those lines, I, those thoughts, those emotions will be in the subconscious mind and I will be tending to use those emotions over and over again. So I got some fun thing here with the, the Heart Math Institute and the Heart Math Institute is doing some amazing research, research as it pertains to the heart itself. The, the way that I look at this, I always keep bringing up the energy around a lot of things. Now the Heart Math Institute is looking at the energy field around the heart itself. They've measured it, that the heart has this big old energy field so far out, it's like five to six or maybe eight feet out there, but it could very well be much, much bigger than that because they can only find the equipment as they have right now that can reach out that far. So our heart has this big, big uh, electromagnetic field inside of them and they are coming up some really good things. And did you know that you can boost your immune system by using positive emotions. It's very, very cool because they are finding this out with their research. And what they're stating is they're going to the incoherence or the coherence of the heart rate itself. So if we look at here, frustration, anxiety, worry, irritation can all cause an, an incoherence within the heart. And this is going to impair the performance of the heart. So you can kind of see over here, this is the heart rate. It looks pretty squiggly, what's going on there. However, what they're finding out when people are doing breathing meditations or anything, that they can find themselves getting more into a coherence. Like I said, that you can boost your immune system just by using these positive emotions, not only the system itself, but the heart actually comes in much, much coherence of what's going on. You can see the heart rate is so much more coherent by using the positive emotions such as appreciation, love, care, and what this is going to do, it's going to promote the actual optimization or optimizing the performance of the heart to do its duty. 
So when we have an incoherent, we can think of the energy, energy field is just going every other which way or could very well be very, very small. But if we find ourselves using these positive emotions, you can feel the energy from someone because there's so much energy coming from the heart. They're finding out the heart is very, very powerful and it's also much, much more powerful than the brain itself. So my exercise for you today is kind of piggybacking off what Dr. Chip was talking about is if we focus our attention on the heart area and we breathe a little deeper than normal. You know, Dr. Chips of the four, seven, eight, well, let's just, for this instant, we just do five seconds in, five seconds out. But the big thing in here is making sure we keep that focus on that heart area. We, where you place your attention is where you place your energy. So once we're breathing, we're focusing on that heart and we're really getting that heart into more of a, <laughs> I pushed the wrong button. I might have got it. Maybe. One second. You gotta go to my Good. So once we get this, once we get this breathing, thinking of these positive emotions, we will get that heart back and coherence. So we do this, we get it nice and relaxed, keep that heart rate, you know, four, five, four seconds in, you can do it with Dr. Chip, seven second pause, eight seconds out, wherever you wanna do it, it doesn't matter. What, what the thing is going on here is we're where we're placing that attention, where we place that energy. So the big thing, once we get done with that step, let's try to recall a time that felt good and try to experience that moment over again. And the key to this is to think of something that you've just been truly, truly appreciated of. So once we're breathing, we're focused on that hard area, we're breathing in, we're breathing out, and we're thinking of a time that very well could be in the past, it could be something that you can make up. The mind, the body doesn't know the difference. And what will happen there is we'll get that heart back in coherence and we'll find ourselves, our heart will be nice and relaxed. We'll be performing much, much higher and optimizing that heart. So that is all I have for you with my little spiel of emotions with the immune system. Up next is Dr. Mark. Thanks, Coach Ed. Hope everybody's doing well tonight. Um, you had some good uh, examples of how to breathe there. I'd like to point out that works much better without a mask uh, <laughs> because you don't want to be breathing in your own CO2. You don't want to be breathing out, uh, you know, your, all your bugs when those to go out, or all the excess gases and things. So, you know, do do be a get a good source of air. Don't wear a mask. Uh, you know, just kind of some common sense there. So I'm gonna go over some more fun things about the immune system. Um, uh, basically, how to optimize the immune system uh, naturally. So uh, basically, I read through a couple of things here in the search for the the cure for to multiple diseases, we find ourselves running, singing, and eating uh, for charities that are committed to throwing a dump truck full of money at scientists who then have the monumental task of creating a nuclear weapon that can single-handedly destroy the disease in question. Um, good. Um, so meanwhile, the most powerful weapon proven to actually eliminate the body of serious disease, the immune system, barely gets an honorable mention as it silently, strugg silently struggles to do its job while generally being treated poorly. So uh, what we're getting at there is, and, and Dr. Chip mentioned that too, that we have 360 trillion viruses. Viruses are in us all the time. People have, and, and bacteria, and parasites, and all kinds of things. People have this idea that the body is sterile, and the only reason, reason we get disease is somebody has a cough or cold and coughs on us, and we catch the disease. And that is so far off the track of truth. Uh, it, it, it's what we're talking about here is that the body is running, and if it's running correctly, it has all the energy it needs. Uh, the energy field, like Coach Eddie's talking about, the energy field is way out here. These viruses that come from people coughing actually bounce off. I mean, they don't even get to your immune system, but if they do get in, uh, then you know the body can handle it. The problem becomes if we're stressed out, poor nutrition, poor diet, all these things, your energy is so low, the immune system doesn't work right, or it's using nutrition from uh, that's supposed to go to the immune system for digesting a donut, for instance, the sugar, 
Um, so then we have a problem when the immune system falls, fails, and then we have problems, whether it's virus, whether it's diabetes, whether it's cancer, whether it's heart disease, all of these things. So we're trying to get people to look at this as more of a body problem rather than a germ theory. Uh, the medics are big into germ theory, they're all about the bug, the bug, the bug, and you gotta find something to beat the bug. Well, no, the body can heal all this itself. It has the innate ability to do that. Uh, we just have to work on that side of the coin, on the immune system side of the coin. Um, good, so we'll move on. Uh, if only they could finally wake up and discover that the answer to removing all disease processes come from properly feeding and stimulating the immune system. However, taking care of the immune system requires work and effort, often a major holdup in a society that wants everything delivered on a silver platter yesterday. So um, we're wanting to make sure that people realize that you have to work at this every day. Uh, you, you, you want to get the body healthy. That's what we do at Natural Health. Uh, with our chiropractic approach, uh, emotional energy coaching, and nutritional approach, we're helping the body to actually be healthy so that it can do all these things. If, if the human body couldn't have done this by itself for thousands or millions of years, whatever you want to believe there, um, that we, the human race would have been gone a long time ago. So we've only been led down this path of uh, waiting for the white coats to tell us what's going on in the last half century or century, where now we really we see all the problems we're having with this COVID business. All the the, the virologists don't know what's going on. The medical doctors are running around. What's going on? And we have to learn for ourselves. There's plenty of ways of doing this. Uh, there's good uh, uh, information. You have to go on independent media to find it because you're not going to get it on mainstream um, media. But there's all kind of ways, all kind of good information out there now to get a hold of. Kind of something that the COVID has brought out is a lot of people are really helping and researching and getting good information out there, but you have to search for it. Um, so uh, let's see, for those who do, who do want the only proven cure to any disease and to make the transition from health uh, to healthier state of being, consider the following recommendations to wake up your immune system and get you locked and loaded for whatever may come your way. And again, we're talking about cures here. That's a, a touchy word, but the body is what always does the curing. The, 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 the medicines and things like this, yes, are a treatment, but it ends up being the body has to do the actual, actual curing, what goes on there. And another fun thing to realize is that in viruses, viruses are dead. Viruses can't bother you. They're, they're just an, an inert thing but if they get into the body and your immune system is weak, they get into your body's or your cell's machinery and re replicate themselves. So it's important to realize that the viruses are not the cause. It's the person's poor immune system that's going, that's going awry that, that causes the problem with COVID or any other uh, virus that comes into the body. Uh, there's another a lot of information, too, coming out about viruses that but we use viruses to communicate with each other and help to improve our own immune system strength. Uh, so it's important that we do get viruses from other people. So a lot of the, this mask business and things like that, I don't realize that you have to do what you gotta do, but uh, it, it's important to realize that that's not the way to make this a lasting uh, health approach and, and healing, we're towards healing. Um, so we wanna eliminate the immune system suppressors. And we've got a first few here. Uh, the first step to proper immune function is to largely elim eliminate the worst offenders um, in its suppression. Namely, uh, so we have all these listed, all forms of sugar. Uh, and we're talking mostly about processed sugars here, but even people, some people need to be away from all forms of sugar, even those in fruits, at least for a while, so the body can get, overcome a lot of these things. And again, what we do at Natural Health is help people in a, in a kind of hands-on approach, work through all this, so they can get past it all. Um, processed foods, again, there's no nutrition in processed foods, that's why they can stay on the shelf forever and ever. Uh, gluten, another uh, a protein that is in a lot, uh, that basically has been engineered into wheat and other grains to make baked goods look so good. But the problem is, it's something the body doesn't want. Um, it, it's hard on the body. Hydrogenated fats, uh, corn and soy, alcohol, farm, fa uh, factory farm, animal products, meat and dairy, uh, chemical additives and preservatives, heavy metals. This is a big one. Uh, as part of our nutrition response testing work, we look at uh, barriers as to why the body can't get well. 
And so foods, food allergies are a big one. Heavy metals are a big one. Uh, pathogens that the body can't handle are a big one. And then environmental chemicals and toxins are a big one. So uh, medications, uh, another thing that, you know, medications are fine for short term to help people survive, but they're not food. They're not helping the body to actually get well. That's why people who are on medication, if they went off the medication, they'd have the same problems right back because it's still there. It's being covered up. Uh, EMFs, electromagnetic frequencies, are real important. And the 5G system is going to make this worse. Part of the reason we're having problems right now. Uh, uh, erratic sleep pattern. If you're not sleeping, you're not healing. So if you're not sleeping, you're aging faster. It's important to get good sleep. We, we work at that very hard here at Natural Health to make sure people are sleeping. Um, inactivity. Uh, just sitting around. You've got to be active. You've got to move the body. Uh, a lot of things don't work in the body unless you're moving, like the lymphatics uh, that drain the body or the veins don't work without motion. And of course, uh, getting stress under control. And that's pretty tough these days, especially with election day tomorrow and all kinds of things going on. But uh, just got to keep that under control. Uh, realize, you know, uh, one day at a time, you know, uh, trust in a higher being and, uh, you know, let your body work. Keep your energies high. Do the positive things that Coach Eddie was talking about there. Um, you know, get, get a chiropractic adjustment so your nervous system works right. And that way you can help get the body get well and stay well. So, uh, see, I've got, uh, and so any one of, okay, any one of these uh, offenders can severely suppress your immune system. If you engage in several, the compounding effects leaves this system unable to do its job effectively and makes you a willing host to all kinds of viruses, bacteria, and disease processes, which again, you already have in the body. So a good demonstration I used to do for people was, if you have a can of Coke and two Twinkies, your immune system is done for the day. So if that's what you had for breakfast, the body is using all the nutrition that it would use for the immune system to digest those sugar, that sugar, that processed sugar. So then as soon as somebody coughs on you that day, well then you have caught a bug. Well, again, a lot of it has to do with what's in the body already. Um, so incorporate the immune system builders. Uh, let's see, that's good. Uh, builder, builders there. So uh, the second step to proper immune function is to enlist powerful allies that help defend the system and respond to various offenders on a day-to-day -day basis. These powerful immune system supporters include um, and there's a wide variety, let's see here, wide, a wide variety of clean, local fresh fruits, uh, all kinds of things uh, there, you know, the garlic, onions, uh, you know, good, good things that are listed there, just basically good food that we've meant to, our bodies were meant to live on. Uh, our bodies were never meant to have white sugar. Uh, that's that's a, a, not even a food, it acts like a drug in the body. And, and of course, we've been sold a bill of goods that you, know, you can have sugar, even, even the AMA and the food pyramid, all oh, sugar's fine. Well, it's not, especially the processed stuff and processed foods. Yeah, they taste good, and the manufacturers use that against us, and that's why we have so much obesity, so much diabetes, so much cancer in our society. And we have problems with COVID and everything else that has to do with the immune system. Vitamin C, vitamin D. Um, let's see, I'll go on here so you can see that. Uh, now, in, in our office, we're talking about vitamin C complex here, not just ascorbic acid, uh, but that's what's in a lot of these vegetables. Vitamin D, not just D3, not the artificial one, but the whole process and sunlight. You have to have sunlight to, to activate it. Um, zinc, uh, good sources, pumpkin seeds, uh, probiotics, uh, antibacterial agents. There's a lot of good things out there. Uh, that you can use a lot of herbal things, nutritional things that help the body uh, keep our bacteria that are in the body under control. It's just basically keeping a balance. Uh, antiviral herbs. Uh, we, we have more things in nutritional work for helping the body with viruses than the medics have for drugs. I mean, uh, there's just so many good things that you can use to help that uh, and help uh, the body handle viruses. Um, uh, adaptogenic herbs, uh, pure clean water, uh, a, a one that people don't think about. And we're not talking about the tap water that comes from the river with a lot of chlorine and fluoride in it. We're talking about filtered spring water, if that's what your source is, or filtered water, uh, whatever it takes to be nice and clean and pure, but not distilled water. We still want the minerals in there. Uh, so it's important to, you know, we have lots of information about that here at the office too. Grounding is another one to help get the EMF things to work better. Um, going to frequency things, get that energy to work like it's supposed to. Uh, moderate exercise, 
Um, let's see. Great. Moderate exercise. And we, we uh, have a little problem with marathon runners, people that just exercise to the extreme. Now, if you want to do that, fine. But to realize you're burning the candle at both ends. If you don't replace the things the body needs, then a lot of people who do a lot of heavy exercise, actually it's very hard on the body. So we were, we're talking about moderate exercise here. Proper sleep patterns. Sleep, sleep is so important for the body to heal. Uh, if, you, if you're not, again, if you're not sleeping, you're, you're if you're not sleeping very well, you're not healing, you're aging faster. And meditation. Again, just trying to look at positive aspects. We have, there's a, a lot of positive things going on right now, but if we focus on the negative ones, that's very stressful, depresses our immune system and your energy in the body. So it's so important to look at the positive things. Uh, there's so much uh, positive news, but you have to look for it. You can't be watching mainstream propaganda. You have to be looking at independent sources and, uh, and looking at it that way. So uh, let's see here. Um, and so the, good, so the quicker way to see the results of an, uh, improved immune system is to stop doing the things that suppress it. Then transition your lifestyle to include more of the immune system in the builders. This will supercharge your immune system and adequately repair it for any threats it may encounter. So uh, it, again, you, your body is the thing that has to take care of this, and your immune system is what you have to, have to feed and keep doing real well. And that is not talked about in any mainstream sources at all. They don't even look at that part of the, even most medical doctors, allopathic medical doctors, are not trained in helping the immune system. They're working on the bugs. They're big on the germ theory thing, uh, which is fine, but that's not the complete picture. So in natural health, and there's other people too, but uh, the, the, getting the body to be strong and healthy is the point here, not just try chasing bugs or chasing symptoms all the time. Um, so uh, next week, uh, we'll see, why do I get sick? Which we just talked a lot about that, but we'll, talk, we'll have some more fun information about that too. Um, and uh, I may talk more about this COVID thing a little bit more because there's a lot of information out there people need to know. Again, not to be afraid of it, but uh, there is a virus, but you have to make sure your immune system is in good shape. So important to, to come back next weekend. Again, we'll have this, will be on Facebook and Instagram. I think that's coming up. Yeah, it'll be on Facebook and Instagram. And then will help Quincy IL. And then, uh, then we'll have this on YouTube and Brideon.com. And I'm gonna kind of push Brideon.com uh, because they're a really good source of independent information, plus they're not censored. Uh, so, where YouTube is censoring the crap out of uh, conservative uh, health uh, things that's, that, that don't follow the uh, more mainstream narrative. And I, I think, again, you can see how the mainstream narrative has us, uh, the obesity is high, again, the, uh, the diabetes, the, can, the, the cancer, all these things. So again, we, we want to get away from that. So Brideon.com has the videos, Brideon Social is a Facebook. Uh, thing similar to Facebook, but growing with leaps and brown bounds because again, Facebook is very centered too. So anyway, if any questions, give us a call 217-228-2040. Love to hear from you. If you want to put comments in the uh, uh, sections there and today on the Instagram and Facebook, um, do that. We can answer those questions too. Uh, please thumbs up us, uh, follow our channels. Love to have the people that do that and share with your friends and neighbors anything that we're putting out. And again, uh, we'll hope to see you next week. Have a great day and a great week, and uh, we'll see you then. Thanks.